Hello everyone, you're watching Country Handyman, and today we are working on my 2003 Toyota Corolla. I've done a little bit of videos on this. I've done a seatbelt video and a video on fixing my window regulator on my driver door. And now we're fixing an exhaust leak in what we believe is the exhaust manifold. Right now we are in the middle of getting off the exhaust manifold cover. Right there, and it's in a tight fit. Uh, Derek's workshop and project is helping me today. He he's done this on his car before, so he's out here helping me, and I appreciate that help. So we have two bolts here that we're taking out, and then two down here at the very bottom, and then I believe we're gonna scoot that up and take off that. Uh, sensor they are 12 millimeter bolts by the way yes. yep so we got to get that sensor unplugged get the shield off pull the shield off over the sensor wire here and then you'll pull the shield off over the sensor wire and then you'll have access to the sensor that goes down into the exhaust and you'll be able to pull that off I can't remember the size, we'll let you know when we get there. Okay, we're sliding the cover off over the plug. So I didn't have a wrench bigger, big enough for that. It's probably a 19 or 20. I'm thinking 22. Oh, even a 22? Let's see if we can get it. He's just down in there trying to get that sensor off with the adjustable. Oh, I think I can see her crack already. Really? Yep. Let's hope it's weldable. Because I'm not ready to pay for a new one of these. It's like a couple hundred dollars to get a new cast iron one. But my wife doesn't like the noise or the smell that comes into the car when we turn on the heater and we grab that wire this one yep oh it's all twisted twisting up yep. so just allow it to twist while I twist out the sensor I'm trying I'm just saying you Okay, so this is the sensor we just got out with an adjustable wrench. Looks Here's, like it's a 21. It's a 21 inch. I didn't have one big enough, so we have an adjustable wrench. This is the other end of it. It looks like the end that's in the car. You just pull that and unclip it. So we're thinking that this crack is right here on the other side of this weld. I can fit my finger now down in there, but we'll know for sure until we get it off. We'll have to pull it all the way off to know for sure. Yeah. Alright Brandon, I'm not getting down in there, underneath there, so you're going to need to... Oh, we have to get underneath there? You have to pull, don't you remember pulling these off? Yes. From underneath? Yep, you have to pull those two bolts out. This bolt, you can see the other end of it here, where you actually get on it is on this side. And this bolt here, on the other side, it's just two bolts. There's, There's a gasket spring, in there. There's two. springs on them, right? Yep, there's springs on them. Yeah, let me look for it real quick. It's a good shot of them, so it's... Oops, there's my fat finger. So right at the bottom of my finger there, there's the bolt, and there's a bolt. There, I've got springs on them, and uh, Mr. Brandon's down there. Whenever he quits messing around, he'll get it taken off. It's off of the, uh, so I can stop. Yep, you can stop. It's off the manifold side now. Good yet? Nope, keep going. There you Ooh, go. You feel that. Yep. Ah. 
right. Cool. So now we just have the top nuts there on the manifold. These guys. And I think that they are 10 millimeters, but we'll let you know for sure. We're taking off some 12 millimeter nuts that are Derek's workshop and project says they're studded. There's bolts studded into the, or I guess they're studs, into the engine. And then some nuts on them, and I'm trying to get those off. You'll strip them if you're not careful, and then you'll really be in bad shape. Oh, there it goes. So I got two of them loose. Anyway, you might not think so, but this electric ratchet has made every job I've ever done wrenching so much faster. So, highly recommended. I really enjoy it. Husky makes a pretty nice one that doesn't have removable batteries. You just plug the whole tool in, uh, which is maybe not quite as nice as the Milwaukee's, but these Milwaukee's are like 150 bucks. I think I paid eighty dollars on Amazon for it, but the Huskies you can get them for fifty bucks around Christmas time. So definitely consider picking one up if you are working on your own cars. It makes it so much faster. Oh, holy cow! Yeah, that's where it's broken. I can see the whole thing separating right there. Whoa! Yeah, check that out. <laughs> yeah, it's cracked there. Woo! It looks like. That was welded there, so it cracked right where they welded it. I've always heard it's never the welds that crack. It's right next it's to the right welds. right next to the welds. We might try and work on getting this thing off off camera, but it'll come eventually. Might be moving it too fast. That's what I'm trying to move it slower for. Oh, hey, no light, no focus. Okay, so if you can see it right there, that is a mount that holds on the manifold. For me, it's the, the bottom half of mine because mine split. So that's what it's holding on. It's a 14 millimeter, and so I'm going to take that off. Okay, so I'm going to be welding my exhaust manifold back together because the new ones are expensive, big cast iron things, and I'm not a rich man, and I buy tools to use them, and this is what I enjoy doing. So I'm going to weld it together, I'm going to wire brush it, clean it up to try and get the best weld I can, and then it fits pretty good because of how it broke, there's little marks that meet up, and uh, I guess we just got to get to it now. Protection. Using Brandon's Forney 140 MP Easy Weld.
So when I crawled under there and did this, I didn't have to. So that's why I'm putting it on right now. Well, you did to weld it. Oh, well, I had to take it off to weld it, but I didn't have to be under there in awkward positions. We forgot about this mounting point on the bottom of the manifold. We had the exact same problem when I did this on my Corolla. And uh, we finally remembered Brandon saw it. It hides up in there, so you got to look for this too when you're doing this. Your uh, little mounting flange here, whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure what it is, but uh, look for that while you're under there and make sure you pull that off. And what's funny is we could have probably gone back to his video, watched this, and done this better. It's a pain in the neck to get in there. You gotta, you're gonna have to put it in the right way, but you gotta figure it out. Gotta move it. Get it in the right way. Looks like it. There we go. Guessing that we get these on and then go down there and get those. Yeah, it's easiest to do it that way. That's true. Pack it off a little and you'll feel it set and then go in. That's how you don't cross thread. But you gotta be careful so you don't round them off too. I'm probably too short now. I like the little light on this Milwaukee. Uh, One of these days, Brandon will get those things lined up and get the bolts in. One of these days, if I can reach my arms around. And... Might help if I get my hand in there and line them up. Am I hitting anything? No, I can't tell. Pull it harder. Because I'm not grabbing anything. Really? Yeah. I might have to put the phone down to pull it up. Okay. Sorry, YouTube. So we're putting the sensor back in, and uh, what we ended up having to do is I got vice grips, and we locked the manifold to the pipe using two pairs of vice grips and Brandon ended up just putting the socket on the electric ratchet and basically just ramming it in there until he got it so it was pretty tough it wasn't that hard on my car that I remember but it and that wasn't preferred it's just but, what we ended up doing yeah <laughs> so the sensors back in we're gonna snug it down and then we'll get the shield back on <sighs> Went the wrong way. They're almost snug. This video is turning out worthless because of the focus. So Brandon just got the sensor reconnected that's right there next to where my finger was. Now he's getting his 12 millimeter bolts back on the exhaust shield. So I don't know if it just didn't get recorded or if how uh, the video got deleted or what happened exactly, but we never even showed the engine starting up after we were finished welding. Um, this is like two months later, but uh, I'm just gonna have Brandon start up the engine so that you can hear. I also wish we did uh, before and after, uh, but we didn't, so here it is.
watching guys hope you have a good one